Welcome back to another The Blind Builder video. In this video, I'll be reviewing LEGO Star Wars Captain Rex Y-Wing Microfighter from LEGO Star Wars. This is for age of 6 plus. It's set number 75391. It has a total of 99 pieces. You get a look at the front of the box right here with the Y-Wing and Captain Rex. On this side of the box, you get a look at Captain Rex right there. Um, it's the same one from the vendor. We'll get into, I guess, my thoughts on this situation in a few moments. We got a look at the side of the box. A look at the back of the box right here. And here's this other side of the box. So without further ado, let's open it up and take a look at the final model. So here we have Captain Rex, the minifigure that's caused a lot of controversy in this set. So let's get into that real quick. So I understand the people who are happy he's in the set. It's an easy way to get Captain Rex. And if you didn't want to pay that... I guess $650 for the vendor, you're able to get him in $13 set. That's pretty cool. On the other hand, there are people who are upset because it's the exact same minifigure from the vendor. So that uh, minifigure was supposed to be exclusive to this set, but here he is in a $13 set. So I understand you're ha unhappy because, the, I mean, I totally get it. You were wanting an exclusive character in that set, and here he is in a cheaper set. Now, in my opinion, there's a few ways that LEGO could have avoided this. So... For one, they could have gave him a different head, because as you can see here, it's the same head from the Venner with the bandage on on him, the, with the hemorrhage chip. So what they could have done is give you a new head without the bandage. I mean, I guess you could uh, place it with a normal clone head, but I just feel like Lego should have gave you that head without the bandage to make it a bit different, because then there you go. You got a different Rex, technically, and you're still getting Rex at a cheaper price, because I feel like a lot of people knew this was going to come sometime down the road in a cheaper set. And then another thing they could have done was... Give him a waist cape. I don't understand why LEGO's not giving these clone troopers waist capes here. It's something they really could do. And I was talking to someone in line while we were waiting for the to go into the LEGO store. And I mentioned another thing they could do is like dual mold the legs. Now, they probably would never do that for all the clones. but they could, Or who need a waist cape, I guess. But dual mold the legs black where the waist cape is. And there you go. You got a waist cape. I feel like most people would want a, a cloth waist cape. Like myself included. But that was another idea I thought of that I guess people. They could do. Like I said, the head really could have fixed the situation where the exclusivity of Rex being in here, like that wouldn't be a problem technically because it would be different. And then just overall the waist cape, they really should bring back the waist cape and everything. With that aside, let's take a look at the Rex here. So we got to look at Captain Rex. He does have the helmet holes on here. So if you're not a big fan of that, you may not like this. Uh, the range finder is a bit higher than it should be. And it's a little loose when you, uh, I guess, touch it. You can look at his printing on his helmet. So you got that. You get two blasters, so that's nice. You get an ammo patch that is a little bit oversized, which a lot of people also mention. You get his, uh, um, oh, what's it called? Uh, pauldron here that is a little oversized, but it's a blue color, so I do like the color of this. Um, speaking of the arms, I guess kind of. You get some arm printing on both arms, so that's pretty cool. Guy right there. This was also on the Rex, so I am happy they brought this over to the smaller Rex, or to this cheaper Rex, I mean. And you got the legs right there, of course, with the printed waist cape. Again, I'm not quite sure why they're not giving them a, um, a physical waist cape. And then here you got to look at the back of the torso. The pauldron kind of moved a little bit. And there's no second hand printing on the back end, which makes sense. And so, yeah, I did, while looking at this, I thought this pauldron is like a small, small cape for a kid or like a bib. That's how big it is, everything. But, um... Anyway, those are just my quick thoughts on Captain Rex. I'm like the Bendu in this situation. I am happy to have Rex, and, like, I just really am because I don't have the any other Rex. And I do have my Vendor Rex. And the reason I bought this set was to have Captain Rex all nice and clean and just, like, fresh in my collection. And, yeah, so I am happy to have him in this set. I uh, just wish it could have been different. But on the other hand, I also totally get the side of, A, there's some issues with the Rex, like the waist cape and some other printing issues that could be fixed but i'm also on the side like this should have been a different rex because of that exclusivity i guess part of the vendor so yeah i know that didn't really make much sense but i hope it i hope it kind of did so that's the way captain rex let's now take a look at his y-wing and here we have captain rex's y-wing now i will say it's a micro fighter so the proportions are a bit different you know i feel like this um, body's a bit um thicker than it used to be and that could be because of stud shooters i have shot these already i done this review a few times i haven't been changing and everything um but those studs are no longer in there but they just work work like any other stud shooters you have gotten in lego sets you get these little blasters on front of the wiling just like all wilings i like the blue white and gray color um aspects on the set and here you gotta look at the back i like how the engines turn out with the um pinkish thrust and everything Got some blue, white, and gray on the engines here. And there are Technics, so they're not going to fall off. You see here, so just connect it like so. You got a windshield on the front here. 
and if we turn this around you can see the um the control panel where captain rex can fly the micro fighter so yeah small little said nothing really else to say about this um vehicle i do wish it was like an 80 or 70 dollar vehicle where you got three other characters along captain rex maybe from the end of season seven of the clone wars because that's something a lot of people i think i've been wanting and hope, hoping they would come out for a rumor for, for the last few years so let me get captain rex and i'll give you all my final thoughts all right so we'll grab captain rex right here we can put it inside the micro fighter like so you can just get him in the hole right there. There we go. He just goes in like so. There you go. He's in there. He's not going to fall out. So that's nice. So there you go. That's a look at Captain Rex Wiling Micro Fighter. Again, a, lot, a little bit controversy with this set. Um, if you don't have Captain Rex and you really want him, it's a great way to get him. But if you're upset because he's the same one in the banner, I totally get that. I mean, I really do. Um, so with that, let me know your thoughts in the comments below what you thought of the set. Will you be getting it because it's Captain Rex and you haven't got Captain Rex in your collection yet? And then did you get the vendor and you're, are you upset because he's in this vehicle? And if, say if they went with some of my suggestions, like with a different head, would that have made a big of a difference? Because again, I feel like we all knew he was going to come sometime down the road. So let me know your all thoughts in the comments below. So with that, I hope you all have a good rest of your day and I'll catch you all on the next one. Take care.